Hey everybody, it's your girl Curly Cass. If you're new here, welcome to the Curl Fam, where I share my experiences as a mother, mental health clinician, and curly girl. So today I'm really excited about this video where I get to show all of you a step-by-step -step tutorial on exactly how I do my wash and go routine. So in this routine, I include a couple of different products, including a leave-in conditioner, a curling cream, and a gel. And so it's a really simple wash and go routine. You can't go wrong. And if you keep on watching, you are gonna be able to see exactly how I apply each product, all of my tips and tricks that I use to get the best results possible. So if you wanna see how you can get some bomb results like this, please keep on watching. And without further ado, let's get right into the tutorial. So right after I wash my hair, I am just going to go ahead and split my hair into two sections. I'm not doing it in any particular way. It just makes it easier for me to go ahead and style my hair and also use my Denman brush so that I can just go ahead and get out whatever remaining knots I did not get in the shower. So I'm not really using any particular method. I'm just going in and just, like I said, getting out whatever knots I did not get inside the shower. So that just helps with a smoother application of products um, and just making sure that you get it all evenly throughout your hair. So um, that's what I'm doing right now. And as you can see, I'm starting with pretty soaking wet hair. It just makes it easier for the products to get in um, and really penetrate the hair shaft, which is what you want. It also makes it a lot easier for your hair to actually absorb the product um, and make it stay uh, for a couple of days because as you know, we do not wash our hair every day. So we wanna make this wash and go routine last effort as long as possible. So now that I'm all done with detangling my hair, I'm gonna go in with my first product, which is by Shea Moisture. It's the Hydrate and Repair Conditioner. I'm gonna use about two pumps um, and I kind of just eyeball it. I really like to go by the way that my hair feels. So because my hair tends to be a little bit more on the drier side, I usually really focus on a lot of creams and conditioners, um, a lot of leave-ins that are gonna help hydrate and moisturize my hair. So the method that I'm using here is called a raking method. Um, and it's called that because of the way that your hands are going through your hair. And you can picture a rake in your mind. So I'm just combing my fingers through my hair. I'm doing it by both sections. Like I said, it just makes it easier to apply the products more evenly. And as you can see, I'm really focusing on the bottom of my hair. So the bottom of your hair is the oldest part of your hair. So that's gonna be the one that has been exposed to the most sun, the most damage. Um, and so you really want to focus on that section of your hair. And for me, when I apply products to the root of my hair, it really tends to weigh my curls down um, and it's just not a good look. So I am just going to be focusing on the ends of my hair. And then when I am all done making sure that I moisturize and hydrate that section of my hair, I'm going to go in and put just a teeny tiny bit at the root of my hair um, and just making sure that I'm getting all of the layers of my head and I'm not just oversaturating the bottom of my head. So moving on to my next step, now that I'm done with the conditioner, I am just going to go ahead and detangle my hair again. So at this point, it's not really so much detangling my hair. It's more of making sure that I am applying the products evenly and spreading it throughout my hair. Um, and this really ensures that your hair is getting coated evenly and that you're not just getting a whole bunch of products on one section of your hair because that can be really bad and it's not really going to give you good results. Um, and some people like to brush their hair after they're done applying all the products for me um, I really like to brush my hair in between each product um, in between each application it doesn't really matter which way you do it this is just sort of my preference and the way that I found works best for me so that is what I am doing here now throughout my routine I just like to shake out my roots um, and that's just to make sure that I am not getting any stickiness to my scalp because that will really weigh down my curls, which I really don't like. Um, so the next step is going to be to use my 360 spray. As you can see, it's one of my faves. Um, I am going to just go ahead and make sure that I keep my hair really wet. Um, and like I said, that just helps with the application of the products and making sure that it really penetrates my hair. So uh, throughout this process, each product is going to be removing more and more water. So I just like to add a little bit more water just to make sure that the products are really getting in there and that my hair stays wet throughout the process. Now 
the next step that's part of my wash and go routine is to put on my clumping cream. So this one is the Avocado and Rose Oil by um, Bounce Curl, which I absolutely love. So I'm going to go ahead and just apply some to my hands um, and focus on the bottom of my hair yet again. It's the oldest part, so you really want to make sure you're hydrating and moisturizing it. So I'm just going to use the same technique, that raking technique that you saw earlier, and I'm just going to go ahead and rake this all throughout the bottom of my hair, mostly focusing on that part um, and making sure that I focus uh, especially on the parts that tend to get dry which is usually the back and the bottom of my hair so I am just making sure that I apply this evenly and all throughout the different layers of my hair so that it is all getting coated So like I said before, I'm just going to go ahead in with my Denman brush since I did apply a different product and I'm just going to go ahead and make sure that I brush it all throughout my hair from root to tip. Um, I did add a little bit of product to the root of my hair, but like I said, I don't tend to focus my products there on that section of my head. just going to go ahead like I said earlier and I just like to shake out the top of my hair just to make sure that it's not sticking to my scalp. I do this in between pretty much every application of products that I do um, and as you can see my curls are starting to come in just a little bit from the products um, and from obviously the Denman brush so I at this point I just like to go ahead and brush my hair back um, because like I said I don't tend to part my hair any particular way um, and this is just to prevent my hair from sticking to that one hair part so at this point I just like to brush it all back and make sure that I am evenly spreading out that product again um, and shaking out the roots yet again so that that way it doesn't stick or give me any um, heaviness to the top of my head. So for the final step of my routine, I'm just going to go ahead and grab my uh, Bounce Curl Gel. I have not come across any other gel like it since starting my healthy hair journey, and it has been absolutely amazing. So back to that split, um, and as you can see, the top of my head doesn't have a particular part. I'm just going to go ahead and rake through this last product um, using the exact same technique that I use with my other two products, um, making sure that I focus on the bottom. And with the gel, I do tend to put um, more product at the top of my hair than I do with any of my other products and it's mostly just because this gel is very lightweight so it does not have a tendency to hold my hair down um, in a way that I don't like so that is what I'm going to go ahead and do now and make sure that I get all the sections of my hair and just make sure that I am applying this evenly all throughout the different layers inside and outside of my hair and then I'm going to go ahead with my Denman brush yet again finally and brush through this product as well just to make sure that I'm getting it all spread out So now I'm just brushing my hair back yet again um, just to uh, make sure that I spread out all those products and making sure that I get all of my knots out and that I get all of the definition that I need and want from this brush because that's really what the purpose of the Denman brush is. It really helps with clumping those curls and getting those really, really big juicy curls that I absolutely tend to love. And for me, it's more about definition than volume um, and everybody's different and they all have a different preference. So that's what the Denman brush helps with. So the next step is going to be to flip over my head and go ahead and shake out my roots as you've seen me doing throughout this whole process. And what I'm gonna do now after I'm done shaking out my hair is I'm going to go ahead and scrunch all of the excess water and all of the excess product that I don't need. Um, and so that is what you can see me doing here. So I tend to just go ahead and do it from all sides of my head with my hands first. So I'm gonna go from left to the middle, over to the right, wherever I feel like the most water and product is. Um, and so here you're really going to be able to see that water and um, product coming out and onto the floor. <laughs> And 
finally, I am going to go ahead in with my uh, microfiber towel and I'm just going to go ahead and scrunch all of that um, excess water and product out. So this is really the final step um, right before diffusing my hair. So I'm just going to go in all different sections of my hair and make sure that I get as much water as I can. Um, and this really helps with drying time. If you air dry, this is what's really going to help with that. You want to make sure that you get as much of that water out as possible so that it limits your air drying time. And ta-da, there you have it. I have applied all of my products. I have used my microfiber towel and scrunched out my hair. I've used my Denman brush and made sure that I have evenly applied all of my products. And I did not split my hair any particular way. Um, and that just helps with being able to manipulate my hair part. my wash and go routine. These are some of my holy grail products that I know are always going to work for me. If you miss my hair diffusing video, I'm going to link it somewhere around this video so that that way you can go ahead and check that out so that you can see what tips and tricks I use when I'm using my hair diffuser when I go from my wet curls all the way to my big beautiful juicy curls when it's all dry. So if you like this video and you want to see more like it, please hit the like button and also hit subscribe. Also comment below and let me know if these products have worked for you in the past, if there are different techniques that you're using or that you're wondering about, and maybe I can do a tutorial on that as well. Also let me know if there are products that you're wondering about because I'm really excited. I'm going to be starting my review soon on a few different products. So give me some ideas on some things that you've wanted to try but you haven't been able to yet. And hopefully I can give you some insight and share my opinion on how it works for me. So until next time, bye guys.